it's funny a bit with Manchester. Cause I think it's it's probably one of the few cities where the music scene that's happened here over the years has had a direct influence on the way the city's turned out culturally and architecturally. And what's happened in Manchester because we've always had a very strong music scene. We've always had great bands going back to the sixties and even before that the fifties. There was a lot of great jazz music happening here. So I think over the years the the music has influenced the citizens so much. And some of those citizens have gone off and done amazing things with the city. So people like Tony Wilson, because of his love of the music from the region, he, he had a direct influence on the way the city looks today, I believe. I think a lot of a lot of the architecture that's up there today is directly as a result of Tony Wilson and his, uh, his, you know, his partners in Factory Records and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're very fortunate that we live in Manchester because it is a, it's a unique city. You know, there's other cities that are, you know, great music capitals for a little while, but I think with Manchester, I think we've just become this unique, um, this unique entity where the music and the the architecture and, and the people are just completely attached at the hip. So yeah, I think Manchester today, 2011, is very much influenced by the music that's come from here for the last 30, 40 years or so. It was only probably mid 70s, 1975, 76 when the punk scene happened for me that I started going into the city centre to watch gigs and everything and spending a lot of time down there and the Manchester that I remember then has changed completely you know, to what it is now it was quite a lot of, you know, I remember it being a lot of red brick and dereliction and you know, grimy and all that kind of stuff you know, the buildings hadn't been renovated at that point and it was probably only towards the end of the 80s and early 90s where this massive regeneration started taking place where suddenly people seem to be pumping millions of pounds into the city centre to make it look smart and again I think like I said earlier I think a lot of that is the you know the, the effectiveness of, of our music the city's music made such an impact on the world that people thought yeah Manchester's a great place to invest in I think for a lot of a, a lot of people internationally the first you heard about Manchester was the music scene, you know, the Buscocks, Joy Division, the Smiths, through to Happy Mondays and the Stone Roses and the Inspirals, hopefully, and through to Take That and Simply Red and right up to the modern day with Oasis and, you know, Elbow and just mm. these amazing, mass, magnificent bands, you know, the Ting Tings even, just these bands every year, just massive bands coming out. Cortina's phenomenal. So it's almost like we're just, we're just good at reminding the rest of the world how great we are on a monthly basis we do that I think so the rest of the world will come and visit us you know we get a lot of tourists here now and um, as I said we get a lot of investment in the city so it's uh, I think it's definitely at a peak at the moment it's, it's better than it's ever been some people said to me oh it's not like it used to be is it the bands aren't as good and I'm like yeah the bands are just as good as they've ever been really there's more of them now and there's more diversity in what they do and people say yeah but the city centre don't look as good it looks like all the other city centres but no, it doesn't. We're the only ones that have got, you know, GMEX or Manchester Central, as it's called now, and we're the only ones who've got the Beetham Tower and Castlefield is very unique. So I think we've still got enough of our heritage architecture in there, and we've also got the, you know, the new breed of building that a lot of the rest of the world's getting as well. So I think we've got a nice balance of the old and new at the moment, and we've still got great music. That's the most important thing.